Today we're going to do some woodwork. We're going to build a, uh, a raised bed. I've already cut the uh, I've already cut these boards. They're going to be my sides and my ends, and then we're going to use that new saw and cut some two by fours to create a shelf on top, and then to create some stabilization. All right, so these boards are going to go inside. The little boards are going to go inside the big boards. Yep. And then you're going to drill from the outside into the, so zoom, zoom. Then we'll pre-drill. Um, so I'm going to pre-drill with these countersink set so that the screws sit inside the wood. And then I'm using three inch, uh, Three inch screws, they don't rust, they're great for outdoors. Uh, and we're gonna put four in each side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pre drill four holes uh, at three quarters of an inch in. And then we're gonna drill them in and. Need some scissors? I always have the wrong tool for the right, wrong job. That's what they taught me in the Air Force. Pliers? Shh. My back's to the camera. <laughs> Their back's to the camera so they can't see using pliers. Don't be telling on me. <laughs> that package didn't tell you what sizes they were? Oh, it tells me. I don't read packages, remember? Oh, boy. Okay, so on that end, I kind of need you just to hold this board. I don't care about that board. I only care about this board right now. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hard to show the camera. All right. Let's be perfect. There's a tape measure on that table and a pin. So this board's an inch and a half. So we want to drill about. Is it not a pin there? Hold on. Let me look. I didn't look on the other side. Let me go run and grab my glasses real quick while you're doing that. We should put a chair by the by so the, the window cats can see. and open up the blinds. So I put open up the blind in the window and put a chair. Is the chair gonna give him enough height? I don't know. Yeah, you can try. How about that, Jasper? Let's see if he so if he does it. Okay, right. hold on. I want. Okay. We're gonna do four. Okay. We're Okay. Is it far enough over? Is yeah. that where you want it? It's good enough. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Let's. I want to make sure I lined up the hole. I like I shouldn't have moved it, huh? No, the hole doesn't matter that much. The screw's going to dig. I need it flush with this. As flush as it can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. You good? Mm hmm. Oh, 
the cats on fire? That one was easier. Why is it? Why is it smoldering? Smoking, girl. Why? Smoking. Wait, one more. Is it supposed to do that? Yeah, it's hot. Is it safe to breathe that? I love it. It does smell good, but <laughs> is it good to say? One more. Okay. Are you fortunate? Is that why? Probably. Okay. You're, yes. you're kind of impatient, huh? No, no. It needs to go faster for you? No. That, oh. uh, let's get four screws. Oh, you want to screw it now? Okay, let's see how good we... Here's one. Okay, so I also need over there in the, by the air pump that I'm going to use uh, a little later, there's a package there. These are... So these screws are star, so they don't strip. And I happened to buy two star. So these are deck screws then for outdoor use only. Oh, well, they're good for outdoor. I don't know that they're only deck. All right, here we go. We're going in with the first one. That's a pretty big hole, so I'm glad we didn't go bigger. But I'm going into that wood this time. I might have gone, I might have gone in too far with the... Uh, With the bevel. Oh. Might have. They're sitting deep. They're looking good. Like you can't see no screw. Does that mean that it won't hold? No, I mean this. No. It's going to hold. Come on. That means that there's no flush screws. They're all inside. Oh, bad. That one's really far in there. Yeah, I probably went a little too far. But here, let me see that. Freaking thing's hot. Oh, it sure is. What do you want to see about it? I was going to. That's hot. How'd hey, you look. get that out? Look. No, I wasn't. No, I wanted to see, like, I Looking wanted to good. hold it up here to see, like, Oh, did you did, did you get in in there? Is that what happened? You got in there? Like yeah, I the drew, thing went into this. So look, this part right here. Hi, uh hi. -huh. This part right here. Uh -huh. So this drills, but then that drills into the wood to make a hole for your screw to go in. Do you not have a towel out here or something? Or or a, uh, a glove. Give me a glove. And the other thing I want is uh, I bought a. I bought another mosquito no. killing thing. No, they don't kill nothing. Wasted money. Here, I'm going to... I don't have it out here tonight, and I got less dead. mosquitoes. We'll figure that. All right, I want to just see. I'm just going to pick it up with my old dirty glove. So how are you stopping here? Uh, drilling, but pull up the screw up there now. Grab one of those screws. The screw's all the way in the wood. So the you didn't drill. The screw is like right there. But why does it have to do that if? Oh, it's pulled down now. I want I want to go in as far as I can. 
You don't understand? Not really. Just, so you were able to go into like there? Yeah, to the edge. No, no, no. There. Okay, and then this is going that far? In? That's correct. It ain't coming out. Okay. That's interesting. I've seen some videos of people screwing things in. I've just never seen a smoke before. Oh, it smokes all the time. Cutting wood is going to smoke. Hmm. That's why you need a fire extinguisher. We got one. I know, but we have to get past all that other stuff to get it. It's in my office. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, you did move one. You did move one. Where were you going to take that one to? Huh? Where were you taking that one to? That fire extinguisher? Uh-huh. Because I have so much electronics in there, I wanted it there. Okay, but so you have the leader? I'll bring it out here. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure this is... Okay. Am I... Were you in picture? Oh, I'll put a chair up there for Jasper so he can watch us. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. They're not near the seam. Okay. You don't need me now, because it's like I always in need there. you. <laughs> hopefully our uh hopefully our garage floor is not all whacked. And it is. uneven. No, it is. Because then it'll make the whichever side we put the top on. Flip it though. Yeah. All right. Back at it. I put some gloves on. I grabbed this and spun it way too fast. It ripped all the skin off. So we got some pretty some miracle stuff in there that helps with burns. And I'm gonna wear a glove. I'm gonna try. I took a I took a two by four by eight or ten, and I cut uh, eight, two, four, eight of these cleats. These cleats are gonna go up here uh, on the corners up there, and then I'm gonna take a two by four, put across, 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 and that'll give you a shelf to sit on. It'll also stabilize it more. So that's what I'm doing now. So is this the top side? Yeah, we're going to call it the top. So they go to the bottom? Or you're going to raise them up to the top? How could I put them on the top, Gary? Think about that. How could I set them on the top? Not the top. I thought you were going to lift them up here. I am. Oh. That's why I need you doing this. How? The rain, the rain, the rain. Oh, your knee hurts? It did for a second. All right. How's your hand? Burned it's, uh, on? It's, it's it only It only burns when I bend it. So. Okay, that's good. So it's not a... Where are you putting the screws? Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Am I? No, you're not level. Start at one end 
and uh, hopefully by the time we get to the end, it levels itself. If not, we'll have to maybe adjust it and level it. She's me dropping them. Good. There's a screw right here. Yes, there's a screw right there. So, yeah. so come in like one finger thrust, like right there. I'm clear of it right there. Yeah, if you go in right in front of my finger, yep. Go straight down, right? Yep, right there. Good, but screws, yeah. Yeah, especially when it's already super hot and then it gets ejected and has uh and it's hot and it metal and it has impact on the hot metal then it yeah look at that you missed the screws good job he said measure to fit mm -hmm. I'm like, why don't I measure? I feel like I'm going to get a gap. Yeah, because those edges are kind of beveled. So like the edge is thinner than the middle of the board. I feel like there's going to be a gap, but it doesn't matter according to, according to him. And wood swells, doesn't it? Is that why? Because wood swells? I don't know that, Carrie. You said you don't know that? I don't know. You want to hold that piece? You want me to hold it? Just make sure it doesn't fall after I cut it. Which side is the one you measured? Oh, this one. But the other one might fit over there. Oh, look at that. That actually did turn out good. Might have to cut that. Yeah, I got to cut that. So let me get my pan. All right, well, let me show them that that one cut did it perfect. That one was good. That was a good measurement. That fit perfect.
Right. It doesn't make sense? It makes it kind of makes sense. Okay, so to take that out, if you're in reverse, if you just hold this, watch. It loosens and comes right out. To put it on, you put it in forward, and you do something similar, except you gotta be good. Because that thing tightens around it. So All right, this one's gonna be good. Well, maybe not. So this well, I out. always just manually okay. twist the thing. All right, so I do it the fast way, but my brain's not working fast enough. And so I'll be in forward thinking I'm in reverse and I'll hold it and it just rips away. Hmm. And nothing happens up here because I'm in forward, not reverse. Trying to take it out. Hmm. Last two. Unbelievable. And then you can put it in your little history book that you built your first raised planter bed. There's a history book about me? He's writing that. That'll be an interesting read. Ta -da. Our raised bed is done. We built that faster than we put together a Home Depot one last night. That is true. That is true. Good I job, Carrie and Scott. Less, less time job. than the, uh, the raised one on the wheels the that we got. First from time in a while, other than when Lowe's. I painted my garage, I'm leaving this in here because I'm kind of proud of it. And I'm going to build some more tomorrow. Maybe not this big. They'll be up to carry which size she well, wants. Well, no, no. We have to go out and plan it out in the space. We can't just build it. I'm still going to build at least one tomorrow. So if it's raining and we can't go out and do it, I'm still going to build one. I'll just build a shorter one so she can see the difference. How much did this one cost? Uh, the wood, probably, uh, let's see. 8, 16, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40 bucks uh, plus screws. 40 bucks plus screws. About 40 bucks. Let's call it 50. And I would have paid, bought it, made 200 at least. 150, 200. 150, 200. Yep. It's not, no, it's not pine. You'd have paid 400 for pine, but this is a very heavy. In fact, can you even pick it up? What is it? It's not pine? I mean, this is pine. It's not uh, oh, right. cedar. I was about to say, Probably that's not pine? What is that? Can you that pick that then? end up? Oh, 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 it's heavy. <laughs> that's a solid box. That oh, is, my gosh. <laughs> that is one solid box and it is going to last five years uh three to five years three to five years at least we get a lot of rain um it's not treated uh because we don't want it treated treated wood is not good for plants so uh at least three years we're going to get some vegetables out of this baby 45 50 bucks for the wood i did buy you know a new table saw or whatever that's called today and some new stands and and it needs to be stressed amateur we're amateurs oh yeah I, I, i'm a i'm not a hand i'm not typically a handy guy i'm gonna get handy whatever i put my mind to i typically get good at the people that know me already know that you don't want to bet against scott especially <laughs> if he's focused because he's going to He's going to get good at something. And I'm going to get good at this garden stuff. So see you all next time.